What's up guys? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and happy Artsy Fartsy Friday. Today I'm going to be talking all about my brand new customizable printable planner templates. This is something that was sort of born out of a very first world problem I had because I was torn between the convenience of a pre-made planner and the customizability of a bullet journal. And I really couldn't decide, so going into 2019, I'm deciding to fuse the two together by creating these customizable planner templates that I can still use in multiple different ways. They're very multifunctional, multi-purpose, but the convenience of being able to just print them out rather than having to draw them by hand is amazing. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is how you can get access to my planner templates, how you can print them out yourself, how you can customize them, and how you can use them to create a DIY planner of your very own. So let's start off with the templates. Right now, the planner templates are a Patreon exclusive reward that is available to any patron at any tier. Basically what this means is if you pledge a minimum of $1, you get access to all of the planner templates plus so much more. So if you're interested in becoming a patron, I will have more information about that at the end of the video as well as in the description bar down below. But for now, the planner templates are only available on Patreon. Basically, once you're a patron, all you have to do is go to my Patreon page and go under the templates tab. This gives you access to all of the different templates that I have for the planner. So all you have to do is find the template that you want and then click the attached file to download it to your desktop. For the files, I include a JPEG, a PNG file, as well as access to the Photoshop file. This is probably the biggest deal because this allows you to import the file into your own editing software and change it and manipulate it whatever way you see fit. You can do things like hide the cut lines that I include, alter the image size, change the background color, do lots of other fun things. Once you do that, all you have to do is download the template, open it up, customize it however you want, hit print, and you're good to go. Now, obviously, if you want to DIY your own planner, you're going to need some supplies. The first and most important is probably the printer. The printer that I have doesn't print double-sided, but a really easy way to get around this is just to print one page at a time and then flip the page around and print on the back. This is what I have been doing for all of my planner pages and all of my really excessively long papers for grad school. Money-saving tip. The biggest challenge with this is that you basically just need to know the orientation that your printer prints in. Once you have that figured out, it's pretty easy and I highly recommend printing on both sides, not only because it's more functional, it's also more environmentally friendly and cost effective. Now when choosing your paper, you can really go with anything under the sun. I went for a standard letter size piece of printer paper, but I tried to find one that was a little bit heavier in weight. Your standard piece of printer paper is about 20 pounds. The paper that I'm using in today's video is about 28 pounds. So not a whole lot heavier, but that little bit of extra weight does make a big difference, especially when you're using pens that might bleed through. I will leave the paper that I used for this video in the description bar down below, although you can probably find good papers anywhere. Depending on the size of planner that you are planning to create, you might need to trim the pages down to size in order to fit. For this, I recommend a paper cutter, although I don't necessarily recommend this one because the blades are already very dull. If you don't have a paper cutter, an X-Acto blade or good old scissors will definitely get the job done. The next most important thing that you probably need to DIY a planner is a vessel in which to store your planner pages. Although I definitely think that the planner templates would also look cute if you just attach them to a clipboard or have them on your desk. A vessel definitely does make things easier, and my weapon of choice for this is just your standard three ring binder. The reason I love this is because it's widely accessible, it's fairly inexpensive, and they already come in cute colors and patterns, so it makes your job a little bit easier. I have here a standard size three ring binder, as well as one that is a little bit cuter and tinier for those of you who don't necessarily want to carry a behemoth planner around with you every day. This might be more your speed. 
I don't necessarily know which of the two I prefer yet, so I'm going to be creating two planners and trying them out for a couple weeks before I go into 2019 with my official planner. So basically, I'm just gonna be walking you through how I customize each of these planners and how I use the templates. The coolest thing about the templates is that they are really multifunctional and can usually serve more than one purpose. So all you need is a little bit of imagination and you can create a really, really cool planner. So let's get into that. So I'm gonna be starting off with the larger of the two binders. This is basically your standard size binder that fits your eight and a half by 11 inch pieces of paper pretty nicely. I believe this binder holds approximately 250 pages, so it should be more than enough to get you through the better part of a year. So I felt like this was a pretty good size. Any thicker than this might be even more daunting. So the reason I'm starting with this binder is because it's ultimately the most dummy proof method for DIYing a planner. And it was definitely the one that I thought was easiest because it doesn't really involve any cutting or measuring. So basically all you have to do is print your template out onto a standard piece of paper and it's already the perfect size. One of the cool things about these templates is that they are equidistant from the top and bottom as well as both sides. So this planner page could fit basically in either orientation without being cropped off or feeling like it's the wrong direction. The other reason I like this binder in particular is because it's a standard three ring binder, which means a standard size hole punch gets the job done nicely. It also has these nice little clear pockets here, which are great for storing, say, stickers coming soon to a patreon near you they also have nice clear pockets on the front and back which means you could insert some cool artwork or photos in the front to decorate it and in the back as well so i really like this binder not just because of the color but i just think that it's a really fun way to display a planner it's obviously going to be durable and stand the test of time which is also important for a planner the first thing that I created for this planner was sort of an inside cover slash divider. This is a design that I created that you can also download for yourself on Patreon if you would like to be twins and have this in your own planner as well. It does feature all of the different Zodiac constellations, which I thought was a pretty cute tip of the hat to 2018. On the back of this, I did put my name and my email. This is just in case the planner were to get misplaced, which I don't know how anyone could misplace a giant yellow binder, but it could happen. And I decided to laminate this. Lamination is obviously optional, but it does make this a little bit more durable. And for this page in particular, I wanted that nice, glossy, sturdy finish. The laminator that I use is by the brand Scotch. It's a relatively inexpensive laminator and the lamination sheets are widely available at Target or Walmart or online. So if you're interested in that laminator in particular, I do have it linked down below. So this is going to be the first page in our planner. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it right on here. Another very, very important tool that you're going to need that I didn't mention is a hole punch. These are also pretty cheap and this is just your standard size hole punch, which is obviously perfect for your standard size three ring binder. You're gonna need one of these. You can also just use the single hole punches that only punches one hole at a time. Um, but basically whatever you have will work. When creating this planner, I wanted to start off like I did in my bullet journal and that was with a goals page. This is really important because I wanna be able to look at my goals pretty regularly and have them sort of front and center in my planner. The goals template that I created kind of maps out every single month and gives you five lines for goals for that month. This works for me because it's hard to look at goals in terms of a whole year and it's easier to look at them month to month. This template was also really easy to customize and make it a little fun by adding some color with some of my favorite pens, the Zebra Mild Liners. So let's go ahead and pop this guy in. You can see on the back, I have the start of my year at a glance spread. This is also very similar to my bullet journaling spread and I feel like it's not something that's super apparent in a lot of pre-made planners, but I have this six month spread in here and it's actually one of my favorites because it also makes a really good habit tracker. So if you're into habit tracking, this would be a really, really nice way to do that. You can see here when I put the other page in, we have the entire 12 month spread. I haven't filled these out yet 
yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to be committing to this size planner and I want to make sure I commit to it before I commit to filling in hundreds of little boxes. But this is how it looks for now. I think it looks really nice and I love the pops of yellow with the binder. And then on the back of this I have my birthday tracker which again I just accented with a little bit of yellow highlighter and I think it looks really good. This is a nice place to see all of your birthdays in one place um, and I really really like this. You could also do like a gift tracker so you could have a corresponding birthdays and birthday gifts tracker. The next template that I'm going to add is this yearly tracker. I'm using this to track my bills and utilities, although there is no title on this page, so you could really use it to track whatever you would like. I do have 13 rows here, one for the titles, and then 12 for all the months of the year. And then I have five columns for the various categories. You can see I have um, one for the month, which I guess I don't really need to put there, whatever. Hindsight's 2020. I have a column for rent, utilities, internet, and then the total amount that I paid. I also have a little tab here, which I just think makes it easier to flip back to this page. Next, I have the social media growth tracker. This is basically the same layout as the first one, although I just had it pre-made with the social media icons because these are the social medias that I am most concerned with tracking my growth. You can see I have YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, Twitch, and Twitter. Although if these aren't your cup of tea, you could always customize them on this tracker. Again, it has the same columns and rows, and I was able to just write my own title on the top. So the next spread is going to be the monthly view. I like this spread because it's very simple and to the point, but it's still highly customizable. You can write in the month and the year up here, as well as all of the days of the month with plenty of space, but you don't have to worry about drawing tons of little boxes or writing in the days of the week. So it does make it a relatively quick process. I like this a lot because I am able to just see my whole month in a single glance, and I can have a sense of how crazy that month is going to be. You can also see I added another little tab here. On the back of this is the start of our first weekly spread. Now I'm going to put the other side in too just so you really get a good idea of what the spread really looks like. I think this is tons of fun and there really is lots of room for customization and flexibility here. I went with a vertical spread just because I feel like at this point in my life, I really need sort of that linear structure. It's divided into three sections, which is really great for dividing morning, afternoon, and evening, or homework, work stuff, personal stuff. You can really customize that any way, which way you feel. You can see for Monday, I divided things into school, social, and personal. And then for the rest of the days, I sort of went with a morning, afternoon, evening structure because I feel like that made more sense for those particular days. You also just have a mini calendar that you can customize and fill out and then obviously highlight whichever week you're on, which can be helpful. It does have all of the days of the week already pre-written in the template, but there's a blank spot above each day for you to write in the number. What I love about this is that I don't necessarily track every single week in my planner, but there are definitely weeks where I need that and I want the flexibility of just being able to use it when I need it rather than having to create a whole month's worth and then feel like it's wasted. The other thing I love about the weekly tracker is this sort of list space on the side, which allows me to put goals or reminders or shopping lists or really anything. And I love this because I, I am a list person, as you will see throughout the, the planner and the templates. I am a huge list person, so having this space is really important to me. And you can see there's lots of room to write in every single day. I will probably be making a horizontal week tracker as well, um, as well as one that just fits nicely onto one page for those weeks where maybe they aren't as busy. But I am planning on making more templates throughout the year, so if you're interested in keeping up to date with all of that, I highly recommend following me over on Patreon. The next tracker that I have is my daily tracker. Now this is one of my favorites. I've never been a daily tracker kind of person, but recently with how busy I've been, I really see the value in something like this. I love it because you can obviously write in your own date. So if you don't use this kind of spread every day, that's perfectly okay. You can kind of just throw it into the mix as needed. One of the other things that's great about having a three ring binder is that if you wanted to throw this 
let's say earlier in the binder, you totally could and it's super easy. And it's just, you, you don't have to worry about tearing out pages or, or moving things around too much. It's really, really simple. So the things that I love about this is that there's 15 spots on the side for you to put the hours of the day. If you really need to break down your day hour by hour, you can totally do that. And then there is a space next to each line for you to write the task that corresponds with that time. There's also three slots here for meals, which I feel like is kind of neat. I'm usually not this kind of person, but I think it looks st stupid adorable and it kind of helps me keep track of the stuff I'm eating throughout the day. In addition to that, I also have a water tracker here and another to-do list spot. These are just for those really busy days where you feel like this, this isn't enough and you need, you need another task list because who doesn't need another task list? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> so I love the daily tracker. I think it's a really cool spread and it's just, it's been a lot of fun to use. So yeah, but that's the other cool part about this is that you can just sort of print pages as you need them and they're really accessible. Once you download the template, it's yours forever. So you don't have to worry about accessing my Patreon every time or if you discontinue your patronage you still have the download on your computer so it is yours um, and like I said you can customize it any way that you'd like you can change the size you can change the color you can add graphics you can really do whatever you want so that is the look at the standard size planner this is literally the easiest way that you can DIY your own planner and I think it's a really good and effective way to do it um, I'm really gonna enjoy experimenting with this for a couple of weeks and seeing if I like it but let's take a look at the smaller planner so with this one there's really just a couple of extra steps that you need to take in order to get the sizing right and to make sure that the punches are in the right place but ultimately it's a very similar process so for this one in particular there wasn't an inside pocket so i decided to add one myself basically i just cut the top off of an envelope and then stuck it down into the inside page of the planner i put the opening facing inwards so that way if things slipped out they'd be a little bit more secure so rather than falling outwards out of the binder it would kind of just fall inwards towards the spine which would theoretically catch it I also just added another little custom cover that I laminated this is my drawing of a very witchy looking mermaid that I really really love and then again on the back I did sort of the this planner belongs to thing I started this planner very much the same way as I did the other one I started with the goals I started with the yearly spread Again, with the birthdays and the expense tracker, social media tracker, monthly view. Although you can see on this page, I use the same six month tracker, but I plan to use it as a habit tracker. So basically what you would do here is you would just put, you know, habits um, and you would maybe put, you know, seven hours of sleep, um, exercised, you know, cleaned, and then you could fill in all of the days for that month and then just color or check off whatever days you do that habit. This is a really easy way to ha habit track and it saves you the time of having to draw a million little boxes, which who doesn't love that? The next tracker I have is sort of this miscellaneous tracker. Um, I use this a lot to plan out my videos and, and maybe track income or, or things like that um, month to month. I would do this a lot in my bullet journal and I just felt like it would transfer over nicely to the planner templates. Then you can see again we have the weekly spread. I like having the weekly spread so that I can see both pages at the same time. I do find it to be a little bit difficult if you have like Monday on one side and then Thursday on the back. I just like to see the whole week at once. So that is why I decided to print it this way. One of my tips for printing the pages is to basically just print as you go and to have your binder and your, your pages sort of out and then you know, build your spread as you print. So you're really not printing a page unless you know it's gonna go in the planner. That's my tip, um, just because I'm a very visual person and I kind of like to plan out my spread as I see it come to life. And that just gives me a better idea of sort of what page needs to go where, if that makes sense. 
we can see I have another weekly spread. I have a couple more daily spreads in here. And I also included this version of the daily spread, which is also available in the template. And this is basically just a lot more simplified. If you're into the Pomodoro method of planning, I feel like this is a lot more suited to that. Um, it's just a lot more general. So you still have the, um, ticks along the side for the hours and you still have the space here for the task but I just feel like it's a little bit less complicated. The other thing that I added to this planner that I thought would be um, useful is just a little pen loop. I literally did this with just a spare piece of ribbon that I had and some E6000 glue. I covered it with a little bit of paper just because I thought it would look nicer but you can see it, it does a nice job but holding pens. Um, yeah, so that is the other thing that I added to this planner. I think that this size planner is really, really cute. Again, it's very sturdy. It's not going to get beat up very easily, which is very important to me in a planner. Um, and I was able to customize this one a little bit more so that it feels more like my old planner. In fact, I'm sure you'll see kind of a lot of similarities between the two um but you can see i just i wanted a little bit of a change of pace i'd been using the happy planner for so long and even though i really like it i don't necessarily love how flimsy the disc binding can be at times so i think that the three ring binder will be a lot easier the one issue that I did have to troubleshoot with this is the hole punching because um, this is a standard size hole punch and you can see it really doesn't line up with um, the rings of this size. So basically how you get around that is math. <laughs> you have to um, measure the length of your binder. Basically you just have to measure the length of this metal bit and then make note of where each of the rings falls. So for this one it falls at one and a half, four and a quarter, and seven inches. And then I just basically had to mark my pages and do a little uh, finagling with this guy. But you can totally make it work. It was still super easy and pretty foolproof. So yeah, that is how I DIY'd these two planners. Definitely let me know if you plan to try this out for yourself. If you do, I would love to see it. So definitely tag me in pictures um, and share it online so I can check it out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy using the planner templates. Again, if you would like to check out the planner templates for yourself, go over to my Patreon. You can pledge for a minimum of $1 and get access to all of the different templates for yourself. You can download them and print them right away um, and see what you can do with them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the internet.